Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jeff here. Welcome back to another version of Terraria. And as oh no, I killed one of the rabbits. I just saved these two rabbits and I accidentally killed them. They're so easy to kill. It, oh no, I killed another one as well. I was just going to start the video off by saying that I had rescued these two rabbits and um, unfortunately in front of you all, I just killed both of them. Um, it was an accident, I swear. Um, I'm basically just waiting for a day to come around again and I'm just going to let you know what's going on with the house and with the builds and everything like that. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a little village for these NPCs and as you can see we do have two NPCs at the moment. We've got Steve who's the guide, and uh, we've got someone else up here, I think he's a, is he a merchant? We've got Frederick, um, who does have a little shop, we can buy some things off him, and what I was thinking of buying was the bug net, so we could go and do a bit of fishing, um, so we can catch some fish and hopefully um, get some rare catches as well, so I do actually have one gold coin, and I wouldn't mind grabbing this bug net, so I'm actually going to buy this bug net for one gold coin, and uh, we're going to go and find a bit of bait, and maybe later we'll be able to uh, and go and do a little bit of fishing, but I do want to wait till it is um, daytime. Although I do think you get bonuses by fishing at night. I'm not quite sure. I think there are certain times, maybe in the morning and the, in, the, in the evening, you do actually get a bonus for fishing at night time. But what I'm going to do quickly is um, just finish off this house. So let me just grab... Let me just grab this chest, and I might put it downstairs. These uh, these zombies, I think, are going to start annoying me. Let's just put this uh, put this chest down there for the time being, because I do actually want to. Uh, let's have a look here. I do actually want to make a. What's this one? Goggles, equipable one defense. We can we can make some goggles. We can make a mana crystal. Um, yeah, I do want to finish off the first village house. Now I'm going to make it quite a few maybe three or four different uh, village houses and this is going to be the first one and hopefully we'll get a lot of NPCs coming along to uh, to stay which would be really awesome. Uh, firstly I do want to make a fishing pole, I don't think I've got one of these already so yeah I do want to try out the fishing. We've got the bug net now and we've got the fishing pole. I think that's all we need for the basic basic fishing stuff. Um, now what I want to do is um, make a furnace. How can I make a furnace? Where is this furnace? I'm pretty sure I saw this over here before. A furnace. Am I missing something for the furnace? What am I missing here? Uh, I did see a furnace over here. I'm sure of it. Have I lost something? Uh, where is this furnace? Anyway, I'll have to have a look at that a little bit later. I thought I had a furnace. Um, I thought I could, could craft a furnace. I don't know where that's gone. Am I sitting in the wrong spot? No. Not there, never mind, that's okay. Um, what I'm going to do is um, finish off the top of this house here. So if I grab, we're going to have the furnace, uh, it's going to be over here in the corner. Um, so I'm going to make a chimney for it actually. So I thought, I think that'd be pretty cool. Let's um, just let me get out here. And I'm going to have to take on these spiders. These are, uh, sorry, not spiders, these flies. Who's this red guy? A demon eye. So yeah, hopefully these uh, these eyes will disappear soon and I'll be able to build in peace. Um, I think it is starting to get a little bit brighter, so they should run away pretty soon. Uh, but I should be able to take them out without too much trouble. I really do like this cactus sword. Um, it does, does work pretty well. There we go. One down and one more. There we go. Two down. Okay, so hopefully no more will come and it will be daytime soon. So I'm just going to open up a little spot here. Uh, this is where the... Uh, let me see where the chimney is going to be. There we go. I think daytime has arrived. And uh, yeah, all the monsters are disappearing. So that's great. Okay, so let's put this down here. We are going to do it like this. Um, and I don't know if we can do... Does this look a bit weird? Looks a bit weird. Hang on a second. Let me just see if I can fix this up a little bit. Yeah, I don't know if we can do diagonal blocks in Terraria. I am quite new to all of this. This looks really weird. What am I doing here? Um, no, it's got to be like that. No, the, okay, there are no... Um, obviously, there are no, no diagonal blocks in Terraria, but I'll do my best to make it to look like a good, nice, nice sloping roof here. And uh, with a chimney as well, hopefully we'll be, we'll be able to get this chimney sorted out. So um, now I do have to make it even, don't I? Um, is that it? Is that it? I think that's it. I think we're good to go there. If I can just put one there, there we go. And hopefully I'll be able to get this. There we go. I think we're good. Um, yeah, okay, we need a chimney here too, don't we? I'll, I'll work out the chimney in a little bit. 
Um, once I've got this kind of even here, um, can I just get one more? There we go. And just up one more. I think we're almost there. Um, I wonder if I should have a, a flat bit to the roof. Or should I just keep going like this? Uh, what I wouldn't mind doing is just doing this for the time being. Just so I can get up here and just, just complete this build. Um, there we go. And I can always remove that a little bit later. There we go. Let's see how high this is going to be and if this looks okay. I think it might look okay. It's basically just a... a there we go. That looks okay. Looks looks decent. It looks decent. It's just a little village house, so I think that'll be good. Um, now what I do want to do is add a chimney right here. So the chimney's going to go up there. Um, let's see. Let's see if we can do this. Okay. Let's add. It's quite a big chimney there, isn't it? Um, I think the chimney is maybe a bit too large. Maybe I should make it a bit smaller. Um, just see how it looks, and I can always always edit it a bit later. Uh, we've got a bit, of, a bit of rain here as well. Um, this is not working for me. Let me just jump over here quickly. There we go. I think that's good. Now, what I might do is, I think it's uh, too wide. I just feel like the chimney is a bit overpowering a bit, the rest of the house. So I might just uh, reduce it in size a little bit, um, and just make it one bit shorter. So if I just move this over here, there we go, and we're going to go up just like that. Oops, what have I done? How did I walk straight through that? I don't know. Um, okay, now I'm going to grab the wooden platforms here, and uh, hopefully I'll be able to jump up if I just stick them there like that. There we... Oh yeah, there we go. Okay, good. So I am still getting the hang of um, how to do these things, how to do all, the, all of these builds. I'm still, I'm still quite new, um, but hopefully I'll learn in time. Um, there we go. Does that look a bit weird? Kind of looks a bit weird. Let me change this. Um, I'll put something else on the top. I'll put some wooden platforms. I think I've only got one wooden platform left. I'm going to have to make some more wooden platforms. Um, there we go. I've got plenty of wood, so that's fantastic. There we go. I'll put some wooden platforms here. Maybe I can put some spider webs up here to make it look like uh, look like smoke, I don't know. Um, now I do want to get into this area here though, so maybe I could put even a door in the chimney, I'm not sure. Um, and I do need some background as well. So there we go, we're going to have a bit of a cellar, we're going to have a bit of a cellar, um, a secret cellar, you do have to go through the chimney to get there though, uh, but that's fine, I think that'll look pretty cool. Um, so we do have some wood walls here, so let's see how far we get with these wood walls. Oh, this is dark. It's dark wood. Okay, a different kind of wood, but I think that's okay. Um, it's going to be a slightly darker, or is it just because there's not as much light here? I think it's just because there's not, not as much light, so I think we could... Okay, so let's do this. Let's get this done, and uh, yeah, then we'll, we'll uh, get the fishing rod ready. We'll hopefully find some bait and uh, find some worms and some, some other things that we can go fishing with and, and see how we go. And I also want to go down into the caves and do, do a little bit of caving. Um, just to, yeah, I do know that we can find a lot of good stuff down there, so it's probably, yeah, there, there are a lot of good art. Who's this guy? Shipton. Who's Shipton? I haven't seen this guy before. He's running away. Shipton, <laughs> come back here. Come back here, buddy. Oh, here we go. That Frederick, he really has no appreciation for a really good deal. Is he, this guy, another, another shop? Another, another salesman? He is. I don't know who he is. He's selling tiger skin. Um, dynasty wood, uh, red dynasty shingles. Is this for roofing? Is is this for roofing? Brick layer. Okay, a chalice and rune wall and fancy dishes. Looks like this guy's got a lot of things that we can use in the house uh, for building different things. So that's pretty interesting. Um, so yeah, I don't know why he appeared, but maybe um, he just likes likes the roof I've put up on here, and he got inspired, and now he's come to have a look and uh, sell us a few things as well. So let's just quickly go and make the uh, the roofing here. Um, let's see if I can find this roof again. Um, why can't I find any of these things? I'm sure I saw a furnace here earlier. Here we go, the wood wall. Stone wall, wood wall. Okay, let's grab this wood wall here. Just grab a whole bunch of it. Probably going to use, use most of it in time anyway. Um, so yeah, let's just quickly finish off this roof. I think it looks... It's okay, it's okay. I mean, I have to think about how to, to make it even better for the future, but it is basically just a simple a simple little house for these guys. Um, so just just somewhere where they can stay. 
And uh, if I, I figure if I keep them kind of low level on the... Um, do I have any more torches? If I keep them low down, they will actually be able to come outside as well during the daytime and um, walk around and visit each other. I think that's pretty cool if they can, they can actually go out and, and visit each other. So let's just finish off uh, this roofing here. Um, just finish off the last. Oops, a bit too high there. There we go. I have gone a bit too high actually, so I think I need some just a few more wood platforms here. Um, there we go. If I can just get out here, and if I just remove some of this. There we go. And just remove some of this uh, the wood wall that I've got um, extending over the side there, just so it doesn't look a little bit weird. And I think we're pretty much done for our first basic uh, NPC house in the village. So this is the first house in the village. Um, I think it looks okay. What it is missing though is the furnace. So what I want to do is actually put the furnace down here. So it does actually look like it is a it is a uh, it is a chimney. So that's the <laughs> that's kind of the deal there. Um, I do have a couple of spare doors, so I might as well stick a door here as well. Uh, there we go. So we've got uh, we've got the chimney. I'm going to grab a furnace, put it there. We've got a secret uh, cellar room up the top, and uh, yeah, I think that's really good. Now, oh, there's a there's a worm. Can I can I collect this worm? Let me have a look and see if I can actually collect this worm. Let's go and grab him. Can I? There we go. I think I got him. I think I got my first worm. Beautiful. So I think we'll be able to go fishing. I'm not sure how many we need. Who's this little guy? There's a little fish over here. There's a little fish um, walking walking along in the rain. Actually, I do think the uh, the worms come out a little bit more in the rain. So if I start digging around, will I be able to find them a bit easier? If I start digging here in the rain, will the worms come out? I'm not really sure. Um, where are these worms? Where are these worms? How do I find these worms, guys? Where are these worms? Is that a worm? No, it's not a worm. Oh yeah, there is a worm there. Okay, let's catch another worm. I'll try and grab maybe three worms. Oh, I can't get him. I don't want to kill him. There we go. Okay, can I grab this worm? There we go, got him. Okay, I'll just grab one more worm. And, uh, hey look, there's a fish over here. Gold, goldfish. If I can just grab one more worm somewhere, if I can find a worm. Oh, a, a grasshopper. Let's grab a grasshopper. He's, he's quick, he's a quick guy. Let's grab him, grab him, quick, quick, quick. There we go, okay, I've got a grasshopper. I've got a grasshopper, and I've got uh, two worms. So if I get out my fishing pole, um, now is this going to be automatic? I better have a quick look at the map and see what we're doing, um, see where we are. Uh, we've got the crimson over here. I can't see any water over this side. We do have a bit of water over here. I think it could be big enough for fishing. Um, so why don't, we, why don't we head over this way and uh, we'll do a bit of fishing. I might just drop off a few things uh, in the house uh, before I head off, just, to, just in case we do, do a bit of caving and um, can I just deposit everything. And I do have this water chest. Um, I do want to keep my wood platforms in case we do a bit of building. Um, I'll need my gel ammo for torches. Um, I don't think... I, oh, I need my worms and I'll need my grasshopper. And I think that's pretty much it. I think that's pretty much all I need. Um, I think I might just leave everything else behind. Do I need anything else? No, I think I'm good. I might just bring this in case I do need to do a bit of building. And the shurikens as well. I might as well bring those. So, yeah, I think we're good. We're going to head off now and do a little bit of fishing. Um, I don't actually know if putting the bait on the fishing pole is uh, is automatic. Oh, there's another one. There's another worm. Let's grab this guy. There we go. We've got plenty of worms. I wonder if I can grab a fish. Can I Can I grab this fish with my with my uh, net? Is that... Oh, I did get him. I did get him with my net. Goldfish, consumable. Okay, we can eat the goldfish. Interesting, interesting. I guess that uh, improves our health as well. Um, so I, as you can probably see, I'm still pretty new to this game and learning all of the different aspects of it. Um, I do have some flippers in the last episode. I did find some flippers. Oh, we've got these, um, these fish to deal with now, these flying fish. Um, hopefully these guys are not going to, to cause too much trouble for me. Um, there we go. Okay, let's do a bit of fishing. There we go. I think we need to just wait until it bobs underneath the water. There we go. I've got something. I've got some seaweed. Is that just junk, is it? 
Okay, let's see. Let's see if I can catch something else. There we go. A tin can. I don't think I'm catching anything of great importance. Um, hopefully this flying fish is not going to hassle me out. Get out of here, buddy. Oh, God. I've got to take care of these guys. Get away. Get away. There's another one coming as well. Um, yeah, I think there's a lot of junk... Uh, things you can get from fishing and there's a few really rare items as well so if I get lucky um, I might be able to find something really good and I actually think there's bonuses for fishing when it is raining so I think I've got a better chance of getting something really good uh, because it is raining so another tin can I'm probably just gonna get a whole ton of junk um, hopefully I'll actually catch something worthwhile I don't think there's anything there hopefully we'll actually catch something worthwhile very soon and I don't know if you actually use up this bait or not. Um, does the bait actually get used up when you catch something? It doesn't look like it. I, I caught a bass. Beautiful. I am catching things. I am catching things. Awesome. Okay, so, yeah, I don't... I don't know if the bait ever gets used up. I do have these worms. And I am catching things, so I must be doing something right. Um... But yeah, I'm not exactly sure how it all works. But I guess I'll figure it out as we go along. Um, I see that we do have some slimes coming up. And I think it is getting a little bit darker. I caught, caught another bass. got two of them. So I guess we use them in crafting recipes, do we? we got slimes coming up. I've got to take care of these guys. Otherwise, they're going to start hurting me very, very soon. Um, what I might do, though, is head off to the side. And uh, we'll see if we can find a nice cavern to go down. Um, I've caught a couple of fish, and I'm pretty happy with that. Um, yeah, yeah, so... Uh, I don't think I caught anything too rare, but yeah, it's, it's good to catch a, catch a few fish, and I think we can use them in a few recipes later on, so once I figure out what to do with those, and I'm really happy that I have these flippers, I should be able to, to, to jump along the water, which is really good, and that does make life so much easier as well. Check out this slime with a little um, little umbrella there, let's, uh, let's take him out, and uh, see if he drops his umbrella, that'd be pretty cool, wouldn't it? Did he drop his umbrella? Can I grab it? No, I can't pick it up. That's unfortunate. Okay, so let's see where this uh, this cavern is. There's one right below us, but I don't think we can get too far down there. There's one over here. Okay, so if we keep heading across this way, um, I think we should come across this cavern, and we'll jump down and see if we can find some nice, uh, nice special items. Um, that's kind of what I'm looking for at the moment. Some some nice items to help me. Uh, take on these critters and uh, yeah, do need some do need a lot more resources as well for all the building now Is this the one is this one? Am I here already? No, it's the next one along so if I, if I can do a big jump across oops There we go. I think it's this next cavern that I haven't actually been down So I'm just gonna grab a few torches. Uh, we'll put these down as we go along um, Can't actually get down here So a little bit too small for me to climb down so just going to have to clear this out a little bit as we go. And uh, hopefully we will find something really good down here. It's it's very dark though. Oh, don't tell me this is it. This can't be it. Is this all, this all there is? This is all there is. Uh, that's a bit of a shame. Um, I did see something else as I was looking at the map um, just before we started. There is a cavern down here. Can you see this cavern? Uh, I'm not sure if you can see it on your screen, but I'll go to this one here and just dig straight down. And uh, there is a pretty big cavern, cavern over there. Um, so I'll go and have a look at that, and it's getting dark now as well. I'll go and have a look at that, and um, see if I can get into that big cavern, and hopefully we'll be able to find some good stuff, some good loot uh, that we can take home with us. So we're basically just digging straight down here, so I might as well dig straight down. And uh, yeah, see how far we get down, see how quick. I don't think it's going to take us too long. I can already see it coming up there on the bottom of the screen. Um, yeah, so hopefully we'll make some good good progress in this episode. As I said earlier, I do want to make a wizard's tower as the main building for myself. And um, I'm going to have someone else joining me as well in a little bit, probably in a few episodes, maybe in a month or two, someone else is going to be joining me uh, in this game as well. So they'll be able to help me out with the builds and that kind, of, those kinds of things. Um, yeah, but the NPCs are going to have their own little village, which is going to be nearby, kind of around the, around the wizard's tower. And the wizard's tower is going to be the main build where I'm going to be staying and I'm going to have all of my uh, kind of things in there. So I think that'd be pretty awesome. 
Um, uh, yeah, looking forward to it. I'm not exactly sure what material I'm going to use just yet for the Wizard's Tower. I'm still, as I said, I'm still looking into this game and trying to figure out kind of exactly how to play. So there's a lot of aspects that I don't know. I don't even really know what kind of materials I can use. Um, so can I craft something here? Um, uh oh, uh oh, we got zombies. We got zombies incoming. Let me just take out this guy. Um, I know I can use these demon oldlers for crafting things. Um, and I did get something. I got some... F a vertebrae, was it? Oh no, I think I put it away. Okay, I might have to come back and try that out. I do have a vertebrae, vertebrae from the Crimson. And I think I can use that to craft something at these altars. And uh, call a big boss. I think that's how it works. <laughs> I'm still... Yeah, still figuring it out, but I think that's how it works. And it doesn't look like there's anything else down here, actually. It looks like... Hopefully we can get further down. Looks like we are going... For, oh, we can go further down. It's very tight in here, though. It's hard to... It's hard to break through these little tiny tunnels. I feel like I should be a little bit smaller just to, to be able to work my way through. Um, hopefully this doesn't come to a dead end like the other one. I um, haven't really found anything. We have done a bit of fishing, so I'm kind of happy about that. Oh, here we go. Looks like there is another cavern down here. Um, haven't found any special items or... Yeah, any special weapons. Haven't been able to craft anything. Didn't even get my furnace uh, sorted out. Um, so, yeah, I need to figure out how to craft the furnace. I'm sure I saw it there. Before I started the game, before I started uh, video videoing uh, this episode, I had a quick look at what I could craft, and I did see the furnace there. So I don't know why it's disappeared uh, from my crafting screen, but obviously there's something, something I'm missing. So I'll look into that for the next episode, and we'll get that going, and then we can kind of complete the, uh, the chimney and make it a, a real chimney. Um, found some silver over there. Looks like we've got some water down here. We've got some blue jellyfish over there. And, uh, yeah, let's we'll head over into this cavern. I think I do see some ores over here. So we'll quickly just run over. And um, is that copper? I think it co could be copper over there. Could be the basic, the basic copper. But that's okay. Oops, oops. I'm using my wrong... Oh, God. I was trying to hit him with a torch. There we go. Okay, we've got some gel and some... Um, some copper coins as well. We do have a few jars over here, so if I just put this... Can I just stick that down there? There we go. Um, what have we got? Lots of lots of silver and copper coins, and I found a few torches as well. Um, there is something up here. There's something down below. I think it's just copper. If it's just copper, I probably won't bother... Yeah, it's just copper, so I probably won't bother with that. We'll head over this way. Um, and see if there's anything else over here. Um, looking for a chest, looking for something... Looking for something we can add to the house, something unique. There are so many items in this game, as I said before. Um, so that's kind of one of the reasons why I really like it. It's just so many things to explore. Looks like there's a mushroom up here, actually. Can we check this out? Can we check out this mushroom? Can I go and grab that mushroom? Can I, can I grab this mushroom? Do I need to do something else to it? Uh, how do I grab this mushroom? Or is it just part of the background decoration? Uh, let's see if I can use my hammer on it. No. Uh, can't hit it. Oh, there we go. Teal mushroom. I did get it. Um, yeah, we found a teal mushroom, which is cool. Don't know what to do with that. It could be used in some kind of recipes, maybe some potions. Um, so yeah, I'll keep going. We'll see if we can find some more copper coins over there. Some wooden arrows as well. Um, so yeah, these caverns um, do extend a long way down. They will extend a long way down, I think. There's uh, Once we start getting further and further down, um, yeah, it's just going to get uh, more and more difficult. There's going to be more and more ores and things to find. So I guess I need, do need to go further down. Now, what, one thing I was looking at doing was actually finding some... Uh, is it amethyst? Um, or topaz? I've, I've seen that we can actually craft a magic wand fairly early on in the game um, if we do have the, the right resources. And there are some resources that you can get uh, pretty early on. I think it's amethyst, um, the amethyst wand and the topaz wand. I think both of those are kind of fairly easy to get. They're fairly high up in the caverns. Um, so yeah, I should be able to find them fairly easily, and it's a pretty powerful, uh, a pretty powerful magic weapon. It's pretty much the first kind of magic weapon that you can get. Now I see something red glowing down there. I wonder if that's another altar. I might just head on down here and uh, see see what that is down there. 
Um, but that unfortunately is all we have time for in this episode. So we're going to have to pick this up in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode and uh, aren't getting too frustrated with my my newbiness, my <laughs> my lack of uh, knowledge about how to play this game. But I, I am enjoying it and hopefully I'll learn uh, a lot really soon and also come up with some really good builds for you guys. I really do want to uh, learn how to do some really awesome builds. As I said, we are going to be doing the, the Wizard's Tower and I want to make that really awesome and something to, uh, to be proud of as well. So yeah, hopefully you guys will enjoy that. So thank you so much for watching. See you all again soon for the next episode of Terraria. Bye.